Hi everyone, welcome to my Laravel e-commerce project. In this part of the my tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can list and show the selected category products like this. The previous video, I define my route about selected category and category. For example, when I select laptop. I define my I defined my uh, routes and I defined my functions that I can access this uh, part of my project but I want to show you <coughs> we need to define like this route I defined like the, this route in my for my category my category tree that you can see at the left bottom of the my screen we have a id parameter and the category name ss slug we sent from the link as you can see category product pro category of uh, id and category name and id and slug i defined two parameter i sent the category products and the name is category products then i created my function right here i want to get my product uh, from here okay <coughs> Okay, I can set uh, category. My category is this, and my product I can create like this products. where category id is is this id okay we defined our queries about the product and the category and we need to send product category page but now we don't have that page i i need to define my parameter my data product category product page I want to create category product page at the home okay <coughs> i need to get basic information about not from here the product Actually, I can save <coughs> Oh, 
also I want to save as this as a blank because always I need this I need this page I want to save as for another blade okay and section for my template I have a product as you can see I opened my product this page and I want to <coughs> select from here can I select from here I need I need this the first the next I need this section okay home we need the root maybe just home but yes it's home at some places also we need to define because always I want to click I want to click this array, I want to access to my home and I want to define this route at the same place. I think it's my front base <coughs> at header. Yes, yeah, it's, it's logo here. Now, I don't have any link in this area. But I want to click here. I want to. OK, now. I defined my home page. Okay, I defined my home page link. These are there. You need to define for your project also. Okay, let's continue to our product. I need to change uh, title. category title Okay, let I want to delete this. It's not category.
Okay, you see. My laptop. At home. Laptop. It is not home. I need to change. Why we didn't define together right here? Okay, product laptop. But we need space. Laptop products, yes, laptop, home, laptops. Okay. I need to list my product about this in this area. How I, ca I can do this? It is it is about filter. I don't want to change anything from here. Maybe at future I want to add in this project some filter in this area. But now I let with template information i just want to change in this uh, this area okay this is my product this is my product area single product it is same with another single product Okay, and for each. The link. It's the same. is about uh, this calculation is about to uh, show information in this area you can get this information from your database or your some results of the your calculation I just show you idea that you can show your data in that area it's my calculation is not true we cannot multiple 10% percent 
anything like that okay you see this my laptops I want to delete another another product okay you see at my category desktop I just have one desktop Python one book I have okay you can get we need the subcategory if we don't have subcategory we need to solve this problem we have a basic problem on uh, my for creating if we don't have any subcategory we should we, we should click and we need to get uh, this category data okay i need to maybe i need to add a link for all of this title it's we can solve this problem or if we don't have any subcategory we don't need to show this area it is we need a small change about this area okay as you can see when i select any category i list this category product at the category products area when i click any products I access product detail page as you can see okay I think I explained very simple about that how we can get category and category relate related product and list in our page okay thank you for watching see you the next video